Hey guys and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 World Adventures Part 1. So hey guys, this is our sim and her name is Charlotte Keynes. Um, I'm just going to go straight in there and just show you her outfits. Most of all this is from World Adventures, so yeah. Okay, so that was her every day. This is her formal. That was actually free and I think it's so pretty. This is her sleepwear, so basic. This is her athletic, really basic. And her swimwear. Now you might notice I didn't really do much about these outfits because this Let's Play, well my first Let's Play, isn't going to be really about my like outfits. It's going to be like more about the game. I noticed, uh, you might be like, oh, why are you doing world adventures? Like, nobody plays that anymore. Well, that's kind of why, because I realise nobody plays it anymore. So, I might try and, like, bring people back into playing it. Because it's really a cool game if you like the adventurous side to it. So, I'm going to go straight in here and show you her traits. Okay, so she's a, an adventurous sim. She's a lucky sim. She's an athletic sim. She's ambitious and she's brave. All the basics if you want to be a like adventurer. And her lifetime wish is going to be seasoned traveller. Reach max vista level for all three destinations. Sophisticated sims who travel extensively and spend time in foreign foreign and spend time in local and foreign locals become worldly and wise, worldly and wise, but only those who work hard at earning and respect and earning the respect and trust of the locals will be able to will be able to acquire a coveted max level vista in France, China, and Egypt through opportunities and adventures abroad. Your sim will befriend others and become welcome wherever they go. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna get right in here get her a house and get her some money to go to China so yeah see you in a minute guys Um, just forgot to tell you guys she is based in Sunlit Tides the new world and oh my god this is the most amazing world ever it is huge and so tropical so yeah so hey guys you might really like be like whoa that's a bit of a weird house that was my initial thoughts too so I guess this is like the weird kind of hippie house in Sunlit Tides, I really don't know. But I did have enough money to go to China from using this house. I did delete the um, closet thing, the mirror and the um, bookcase because I really didn't have enough. And I'm just about to delete that plan. So that will give us a bit of extra money. But we should make some money in China, so yeah. So we're just going to travel. And I think China is the best place to go because it's really like really good for just starting off. So yeah. If you are really like interested in doing this, you should really start in China. So it's 1,300 simoleons and we'll have about 400 simoleons left. So, yeah. And the description is Shang Sim. Oh my god, this is going to be so hard. Shang Simla, China, is home to people that value discipline, peace, and, and clarity of mind over all else. While there, adventurers are encouraged to visit the academy to learn the martial arts skill, then head to the Scholar's Garden for introspective med meditation. If you're lucky, you may even catch one of Shang. Shang Simla's famous fireworks shows. I've played this for ages and I saw fireworks in the sky but I've never been to one of the shows. So I'm about to go and I'll like pick up with you guys like after we get there so yeah. Hey guys this is China and I was going to show you the intro but I went downstairs for a drink and came back up and she was there. And my computer's normally like as slow as a snail so yeah so this is base camp and I think it's like really like cute 
There's loads of other travellers here as well, so that's why it's so big and there's so much of everything. So when we're not like in a tomb or something, we just come here, sleep and stuff. I know that some of my um, sims have actually come here just for a vacation. And they do just like sleep here, so yeah. I might go meet the locals. And up here is nothing. I think this is really pretty as well. Okay, so when you get to China and you go down all these steps, there's this like glowy board thing, and that is where you get all your adventures. So she's gonna go look for them. Gazivo. Hmm. Okay, seeking adventure. I'm searching for an interpid adventure who can retrieve the who can retrieve an ancient relic for me. I've searched all over town and no one has the guts. Please contact me, Xima Z, if you are interested. I recommend you purchase some adventurous supplies at the market. Beforehand, including a tent, some dried food and perhaps a shower in a can, in hygiene as in if hygiene is a concern. The general store will have everything you need and more. So we get visa points, but we don't get any simoleons. So we're just going to accept this adventure and go and get some supplies from the market. <laughs> Whoops. I kind of like went to the wrong one. The market. There is like a special goods person that I will tell you more about when we get there. Hang on guys. Okay, so I'm sorry about that guys. It was an emergency. Okay, so this is the market and you have a bookstore, like a cafe thing and um, that's the relic center. And then over here when you go up, you have the convenience store. And we're just going to go over here. Okay, so she's just swimming, that's why she's kind of in her bikini. I'm really sorry. <laughs> we should have to get her a job when she goes back, if we earn enough money. So, we only have 529 simoleons, and that's going to take a big wedge out of our money. So we're going to buy one shower in a can. And about nine low quality dry foods. So we only have 144 simoleons left. And we're going to go report in. Once she's re I really don't know where they get these bikes from. Okay, so once they've reported in, he should give us another task, and hopefully we get to go in a tomb. Personally, I have never started off with this task, so I'm really sorry if, if I kind of like muck this whole thing up. waiting for me. Bobanaka too. Mm-hmm. Wibsy? Mm. No cha. Okay. Just wait for that music to finish. Okay. Treasure hunter. Thank goodness someone's finally responded. Come on, there's work to do. I've heard rumors that an that a nearby tomb holds a valuable treasure. 
Retrieve it for me and you'll be handsomely rewarded. You'll need this key to get in the tomb. What are you waiting for? Get to it. Retrieve the ancient relic from Sima Z to receive simoleons and ancient coins. You do get simoleons and ancient coins, but you also get visa points. So, we're going to accept that. And now we've accepted that, I think it's time to finish this episode off. So, thanks guys, and subscribe if you want, and like the video if you like what I'm doing. So, yeah, leave your comments below, and bye. <laughs>